Yes, I know my hair looks nice. I also, it's so goddamn sunny. Ah, awesome. I just came out of the lecture hall. So, sun. <laughs> ah, yeah. Ah. Anyway, <laughs> people are laughing at me. <laughs> um, I, as I told you, have just been at a lecture. And I have to tell you, it was a really, really interesting one. It's about combinatoric algorithms with a professor who really does a good job. So I was sitting in there and I was like, oh yeah, I like that. <laughs> He is kind of an ass when it comes to exams, but he does a good job with the holding the lecture. And I like to listen to him. And that's really cool. Now, um, I wanted to tell you about my master's thesis, no, my master's um, degree. Because it's not for the puck, not for my bachelor it's a lecture for the master curriculum and i'm trying out a few of the master curriculum um, courses because i'm not writing a bachelor's thesis this semester i will try to do that in england um and yeah so that i do something at university i do the few courses for my bachelor and also a few courses that I will need in my master's degree. And I, I'm just trying out now and this one really seems to be really cool. Um, apparently, I was not here last week because I was still in Klagenfurt, but apparently um, they do it like in school where they give pluses to people who say something, something like something correct um, and I figured that out by taking a look at the teachers and um, they know they ask some people who said something for their names and so I was like mm, maybe they're getting pluses and it motivated me to also say something and I did say something and it was correct and I also got advice or at least I got asked for my name so I suppose that um, it is good for my, you know, grade at some point, I don't know, whatever. Um, but what, what's really interesting at this course is, or at least today, it's one where he asks you to solve something, like he asks a question and lets us try it. Now, it seemed to be so simple and I thought, well, the answer is this, okay. And then he solved it and the actual answer was completely different to what I thought, but he, he solved it so slowly that I was like, oh, oh, okay, so my approach is wrong, let's try it like that. And it's really cool to to have him tell you that you're you're doing it wrong but at the same time he motivates you to try it correctly ah, I just liked it because I said like, okay I did it wrong I need to do better um, because in other lectures where it's just like either it's so trivial that you see it and it's correct BAM or it is so hard that you can't solve it anyway, that, that, pff, that's boring. Um, but this one really seems to be cool. So I will stick to it and I will do the course over or in this semester. And speaking of courses in this semester, in about five minutes the next one starts, but I will chill for a few more minutes here in the sun and then I'll go back to the dark lecture hall where there will be another course 
Some algorithms. Well, complexitätstheorie. <laughs> um, at first, when I came in there, um, he was talking. Uh, he was using words that I never heard before. Um, poly. Something with poly. Poly. Something. <laughs> I don't even remember. But it was a really funny word. And I was like, what the fuck is that? But I understood it. You. Well. Dang it, I can't, I can't talk. Um, as the lecture went on, it, it made more and more sense what he was talking about. Yeah. So I should not skip lectures because once you skip a lecture, you have no idea. <sighs> but I had to last week. I just couldn't be motivated to get up early in the morning to go to Graz. Anyway, I'm vlogging way too long lately, but I just like to talk to you. I'm sorry. You don't need to watch it, but I like to talk, so... Hmm. Great. Go make your backup. I need to go back. Bye-bye.